This third generation Focus RS goes way beyond anything a normal hot hatch is capable of and borders on supercar levels of performance. To create it, a team of Ford's finest engineers got together with experts like World Rallycross star Ken Block. What's been produced as a result is the most frantic family hatch yet devised, with all-wheel drive, taming, simply exhilarating performance. It's quite a prospect. Expectations are always high when you set out to drive an RS model from Ford, and particularly so here, given that this third generation Focus RS is arguably the fastest model that's yet been made by the Blue Oval Company's performance sub-brand. Under the bonnet, there's a 2.3 litre EcoBoost turbo engine capable of powering you from rest to 62 miles an hour in 4.7 seconds en route to 165 miles an hour. More impressive than the sheer speed though is the sheer traction on offer. The clever all-wheel drive system is much more sophisticated than that used by rivals, featuring two electronically controlled clutches at the rear that can switch up to 70% of the torque rearwards and up to 100% from side to side to maximise traction and forward motion. You can also tweak the powertrain's distribution of power through the standard drive mode system, which also deals with five other parameters. Damping, throttle response, exhaust note, stability control thresholds and steering feel. Choose from normal, sport, track and drift settings. The last one for tyre smoking power drifts and for test track use only. Use this Ford in a more conventional manner and it offers 36.7 miles to the gallon combined consumption and 175 grams per kilometre carbon dioxide emissions. Some rivals with DSG dual clutch gearboxes are more efficient, but we love the precision and feel of the RS's six speed manual transmission. The steering is also brilliant to use and the whole experience is accompanied by a wicked crackle from the twin performance exhausts. You'll love it. RS Fords have never been shrinking violets from a styling perspective. Fierce body kits and supersized rear wings big enough to hold a board meeting around have long been the order of the day, a theme this third generation Focus RS continues in its own muscle-bound style. You get that with rivals too, of course, but with most of those cars, you're looking at exterior embellishments made to a standard body shell. In this case, though, things are fundamentally different under the skin, courtesy of the strength and chassis necessary to cope with four-wheel drive and the extra performance on offer. Virtually all the other mechanicals are bespoke too, the engine and the drivetrain, obviously, but also the suspension and the steering too. No half measures, then. Let's see what this Focus RS is like inside. Very nice indeed is the answer, with grippy branded Recaro seats upgraded here to race style shell status in a move that gives the cabin more of a rally style feel. We're not quite so keen on the look of the leather stitched flat bottomed multifunction steering wheel. It's okay in a Focus ST, but something a little less mainstream is, we think, required in this RS. Another feature shared with the ST is this bank of three extra gauges on top of the dash. These deal with turbo boost pressure, oil temperature and oil pressure and are there to serve as a nice visual throwback to legendary fast Fords of the past, like the Escort Mexico. Time to move rearwards, where passenger space is accessed via these wide opening doors that can be fitted with neat edge protectors that pop out to prevent car park dings. Inside, fears that the curved rear roofline will severely compromise headroom turn out to be groundless. A couple of six-footers can be decently accommodated, though the wedgy side profile does hem you in with a slightly higher window line. Finally, let's have a look at the boot. It isn't very large. Rear cargo space is already an Achilles heel of any standard Ford Focus and having to package in this RS model's four-wheel drive system has made things even worse, reducing the 316 litre total you get in, say, a Focus ST to just 260 litres here, less than you get in a Fiesta. Still, look on the bright side, that's only 20 litres less than you get in a rival Audi RS3. Great things were hoped for from this third generation Focus RS and great things have been delivered. 
Going into this test, our only fear was that Ford's enthusiastic development team might have created something almost too good. Perfect for extreme performance on track, but less impressive as a day-to-day -day driving machine. In the finished product, there are certainly elements of that, the infamous drift mode, for example. But largely, what's been delivered here meets the brief, namely to create the ultimate road-ready hot hatch. Be in no doubt that that's what this is.